You might be wondering, why are hip fractures a concern? To start, it's estimated to have a $1 billion annual economic impact in Canada. While it's mostly a concern in the elderly population, as it's most prevalent in individuals 60 years and older, it's more urgent when recognizing that Canada's population is aging. In Canada, 35,000 adults will suffer a hip fracture each year as well. But it's not just a minor annoyance in the elderly population. Hip fractures are in fact a devastating health issue for those whose bodies are just not able to recover nearly as quickly as young individuals can. 7-10% to die within 30 days of a hip fracture, 20-35% to die within a year, and of those that survive the year, they endure numerous long-term side effects. It's a top 10 global cause of years lost to disability, and no progress has been made in the mortality rate in the past 15 years. All of this, and it often takes up to two days for surgery, for these patients with a devastating medical concern, often near the later stage of their life. This is where hip attack comes in. Hip attack, short for the Hip Fracture Accelerated Surgical Treatment and Care Track, is a clinical trial that is aiming to make an impact on the way hip fracture patients receive treatment. Specifically, the study is comparing the standard timeline of care, 24 to 48 hours, to an accelerated timeline of care within 6 hours of diagnosis. If accelerated surgery does indeed prove to be more effective in recovery rates as well as incidence of death, this will be an opportunity to save time, money, and most importantly, lives. The study is enrolling 1,200 patients from Canada, Europe, South America, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Researchers first began a 14-month pilot randomized control trial in August 2011, where they first collected 60 patients in Canada and India. The patients had to be aged 45 years or older and have received a hip fracture diagnosis requiring surgery during daytime working hours. In this study, the group was evenly randomized to accelerated care or standard care, in which the primary clinical outcome being observed was whether a major perioperative complication occurred within 30 days. This simply refers to any major complication and acts as a composite of cases like death, preoperative myocardial infarction, myocardial injury after non-cardiac surgery, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, stroke, and life-threatening or major bleeding. Within the results, after 30 days, 14 patients in the standard care group experienced a perioperative complication, compared to only 9 patients in the accelerated care group, a significant enough clinical difference. Based on the data and the success of patient recruitment, the feasibility of the study has allowed for a full clinical trial in hip attack. While the initial results look promising, it's a long way to go before the study runs its course. For more information on the hip attack trial, read the full paper on the pilot trial or the website hosted through Hamilton Health Sciences at hipattacktrial.com.